Hello gentlemen, uh, here's a tutorial um, in conjunction with the formal lab report tutorial um, specifically about some vocabulary um, that we'll be talking about in class when it comes to the scientific method. The scientific method provides us with the framework for how we write about our experiments, how we conduct our experiments and how we write about them to share our results. This simple six-step um, diagram here provides kind of the, the overall framework for the formal lab report and the scientific method. Some important vocabulary for you to keep in mind when you're asking your question must be what we refer to as a testable question. A question that we can actually collect some data, right? do the experiment, collect the data, analyze the data down here later on, and come up with an answer to your question. Okay, so when thinking about your bio bottle experiment, the idea of a testable question, a question that you can actually test in class, using our classroom, using some of the resources you have available to you, um, that will run over a few weeks, uh, that you will produce some sort of data for you to look at, um, and then you'll be able to analyze and, and report back, was your hypothesis correct? Okay, so a testable question. A question that is answerable. Good. Uh, the next is kind of constructing your and thinking about your question again and constructing your experiment. Um, we have two important variable, uh, two important vocabulary words here. We have a control, and the control of any experiment is. Um, whatever in the experiment is not being changed. So for example, with our bio bottles, my bottle will act as the control, meaning I will not change anything in my bottle. Uh, I will plant my seeds and water and keep my water level in the bottom as per the, uh, you know, the baseline that we want. Uh, but I won't change anything in my bottle. I'm not going to add anything to it. I'm not going to move its location. I'm going to keep it as consistent as possible. And whatever you do in your bottle, you're going to compare it to the control. So the control provides the baseline for any experiment. Okay, My bottle will be the control. When thinking about your own experiment, and going back again to your testable question, um, the, the next important vocabulary word is variable. And a variable is whatever you are testing for. So whatever you are changing in your bottle that's different than the control. Now, as scientists, it's really important that we only manipulate or change one variable per experiment. If you're changing multiple things and you have multiple variables, and you're not actually able to tell what variable had what impact on the bottle as it compares to the control. For example, thinking about variables, you could add salt to your bottle. That would be a change over the control. Okay, So you add salt, um, and then you compare adding the salt to your bottle to the no salt added in the control. But you shouldn't add salt and add a fan to your bottle or light to your bottle or pepper. Don't add salt and pepper. Only manipulate one variable at a time for the duration of your experiment so that you can then test the results of that variable. Okay. Again to review testable question. The testable question relates to the variable you are changing, okay, and all of this is then compared back to my bottle or to the control of the experiment. What part of the experiment, sorry, what is the baseline of the experiment? Once you've come up with all of that, your hypothesis, okay, is your educated guess. This is your test of the hypothesis. Your data analysis, we'll talk about that when it comes to your conclusion. And then finally, the last um, step in the scientific method is to report your results. Basically, answer your question, talk about your hypothesis, 
did you have an educated guess that was correct, incorrect, why, what did the data show you about how changing that variable affected your bottle? Okay, back to the salt example. If you added salt, did it help your plants grow? Did it hurt your plants' growth? Did it change the soil moisture content? Did it change how your fish behaved if you added something to the water part of your bottle? Okay. Testable question, control variable, and only using one variable at a time. What is it you're changing in your experiment? Okay. Scientific method, important vocabulary.